Wait. Oh, yeah. We're starting? Yeah, we're starting. Let us know um, next live. So definitely, yeah, getting into this game, we're going to have Rob and Belmont coming in here. So what are you looking to see for this game? Um, so it is worth mentioning beforehand that this is uh, Loser's Final. So this is a best of five set. Um, and I think the longer the set goes, uh, the better it's going to end up being for whoever adapts better as the games go on. But, you know, that's a good rule of thumb. Here's the thing. Rob is really hard. They're really not good at avoiding projectiles because they're so big. Um, and Belmonts are a character that really, really like to throw out uh, just hitboxes. Whether it be the cross, the uh, axe, the holy fire, or excuse me, holy water. And just that whip in general, you know, whip is only active for one frame, um, but it covers a lot of space. And as you can see, Town and City being uh, the stage that it is with really close horizontal blast zones to the edge of the stage, lead trapping on the stage is absolutely ginormous. And I definitely think Dark Falcon had a really good stage pick here. Absolutely. So one thing I'm definitely noticing that just because, as you said, Rob is a big character, they do get hit by a lot of um, things, especially um, projectiles and whatnot. But definitely, I'm not entirely sure if this is something that Haretto would be doing or would be wanting to do, only because, you know, they can still definitely take their time with this, um, still just try their best to not really outzone, but try to use their buttons to their advantage and to help them get in. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Approaching this character is the hardest thing about the matchup. And Rob is a character that, you know, Gyro is a really good option for opening opponents up and getting in there. Um, but the thing is, you know, if, if Dark Falcon's able to get out of the disadvantage really well, they're going to have a pretty... It's, it's party time on this stage for them. Oh, absolutely. Um, definitely their advantage is proving that it doesn't really matter, um, you know, how good <laughs> this raw player can be. They're kind of just you know, proving how good this matchup is for them. Yeah. But, hey, doing a good job. Doing what uh, Belmonts are the worst at, and that is being off stage. Um, so, Heretta doing a good job with these grabs. Playing a lot more defensively. That shield game is uh, really working out for the better for them right now. Um, absolutely. So, definitely um, trying to see what um, adaptions Heretta is going to be making just so they can try and at least make some life comeback so that they can kind of apply, you know, what they want to use, at least before um, the game, you know, just continuing on um, gaining knowledge and whatnot, but... Yeah. Sure. I, I think it, this... Oh, what a laser call out on that air dodge. Good stuff from Amazing. Heretta there. Yeah, great stuff. Um, as I was saying, I, I, I'm going to say that I think the winner of this match is pretty indicative of how the rest of the set's going to go, because whoever can establish... Um, a lead first is going to be forcing the other one into a lot of pressure and again positioning is really important against uh zoners um especially when you're a character like rob so if you get called out with your positioning that could be death i uh, mean uh, no uh, no not yet excellent job from dark Very, to save the jump but oh no down air to uppy and rob can't avoid that one it is gonna be 1-0 in favor of dark falcon Oh, man, I was just going to say how excellent it was, Heretta hitting that combo and evening it up. But no, I mean, I mean yeah. Honestly, yeah. They were doing, um, showing some real, like, comeback life in that um game there, but not really enough. Especially considering how um, that was almost unavoidable because of Rob Big Hurt Boxes and whatnot. It was too little too late. Heretta really wanted to get some more aggression uh, while they were underneath Dark Falcon. Um, yeah, look at that ledge trapping. The ledge trapping is going to be crucial in this matchup because Rob kind of struggles to get off ledge sometimes. And uh, Dark Falcon is using a character that is really good at, at keeping characters there. Also, something I saw that I, I didn't really make much, much note of when it happened. When Rob sticks his arms up um, with his with his uppy, he tends to get clipped by uh, Holy Water uh, whenever the fire hitbox is out. So that's definitely something you got to keep in mind. Uh, you know, getting to ledge is going to be a little bit more difficult. You're going to take a little bit of damage every now and then. And if you hang on to ledge too long, you're still going to get clipped by it. So game two, PS2. What are you thinking, Jazzy? Um, so I'm thinking definitely if um, Heretta, as they're kind of showing now, if they can become very comfortable 
with how Dark Falcon likes to use all of their tools that they can definitely start showing um, their prowess in this matchup, just um, kind of recognizing um, all of the little gaps in between this character. Um, they will definitely be able to show um, a very more even game from the last game that we saw. Yeah. I think it's going to be all about uh, Heretta recognizing Dark Falcon's aggression and um, landing habits. Uh, you know, Heretta's going to have to play on the back foot a little bit in this matchup because if they get themselves called out once, it's going to be a stock. But right now, Heretta's doing great uh, getting that early edge guard uh, with the gyro to take that stock. Um, at a pretty high percent, but, you know, if Heretta can keep that momentum going, uh, especially off stage and establish himself at the ledge to be able to read Dark Falcon's options, it's gonna be um, a lot more difficult for Dark Falcon to come out on top of this matchup. So we're getting this Lush Trap situation going on here now, just going all the way to the sky um, with that recovery. Very nice coming in from Heretta. Um, but yeah, let's see how much um, extra credit they can definitely get from this game, because honestly, if they're continuing how they played that first stock, we can definitely see um, them taking some extra credit points um, from this game here. Yeah, man, they're doing an A right now, but they're looking for that A+. But Dark Falcon is going to get rid of that first stock. And, um, all right, wait out the iframes, start throwing out some projectiles. But right now, they're pinned in the corner, uh, and that's not a position you want to be, especially when you're at this high percent against Rob. Oh, and the read on that roll. Very nice. Heretta up smash. Great stuff. That was very nice coming in from Heretta. Um, definitely liking the way that they're choosing to um, be aggressive in this game, being very more careful than they were the last game. Um, yeah. But for sure, oh, this getting combo. this combo... Oh, what is a gonna... trap! Oh, that was literally amazing. Very nice coming in from Dark Falcon, <laughs> making sure that Heretta doesn't even have a chance to just make this com or, um, this game a, a possibility for them, honestly. <laughs> Jazzy, we've got a live one right now. <laughs> I mean, from what we're seeing right now, Dark Falcon's out for blood. Absolutely. Truthfully. Yeah, when uh, when that man turns on the switch, there are a few better. But Heretta still doing a good job maintaining this lead, uh, getting in chip damage where they can. Uh, they're just pinned right now by uh, Dark Falcon's projectiles and stuff. They're, they're, they're getting damage where they can, um, but it's not really adding up to anything. Oh, the dash in read. Yeah, and... Uh, See, there it is. That, when you're on the back foot, um, Heretta is really good at applying the pressure and uh, making you do dumb stuff, jump into their attacks. I, I appreciate the signs of life uh, demonstrated by Dark Falcon there. Um, yeah, as you look at this frame trap again, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful call that was, out. That was a very nice call out on that air dodge. I mean, I'm not sure if there would have been anything true about that. So that might have just been some um, un matchup unfamiliarity coming in from Heretta, not knowing that that isn't actually true. But no, I, definitely I, I'm pretty sure it's true. It is? Yeah, or I mean, maybe on Rob at that... Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell yeah. you, but it, it's definitely a combo that, you know, it's, it's hard to avoid, if anything. Absolutely, but getting into this third game here, Sounds definitely good. seeing... Oh, maybe? Is it? Fingers crossed. I mean, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely trying to use this base to our advantage, but I mean, honestly, if we can see what happened that first, um, that second game, actually, sorry, um, from Heretta, we can definitely see a very fun set coming in. I can already tell, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get that um, reflection in there with side B, not getting it there, um, but very nice tent. Um, just playing neutral, very even right now, honestly. Dark Falcon and Belmont in general love this stage, especially against Rob. Um, the lip of the of the platform uh, that that the stage is set on right now. You see how thin that is between uh, where Rob grabs the ledge and the actual ledge. That is really good for um, Holy Water, which has a a little bit of a hitbox underneath the stage. And again, Rob's so big that they get clipped by that down smash and angle down F smash. Uh, that's really good for people hanging at ledge. So, you know, ledge trapping on the stage is really, really crucial. Um, and, and Dark Falcon is epitomizing that very well. I mean, honestly, definitely um, liking the way that um, Dark Falcon is using all of his um, tools right now. 
Um, you know, I've definitely mentioned this a few times before, especially considering, um, you know, Belmont as a character. Using their holy water just for any character is good just because that actually takes out one of their tools. And wow, really nice getting that down air in from Heretta. Oh just, my um, god. Wow. That was such a good two frame. And it took the stock too. Good recognition there from Heretta. Oh, look at that. Honestly. Oh, we could have seen someone beautiful there, but uh, landing on the platform and getting the tech, Heretta is going to avoid the down air. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now uh -oh. it's a Rob combo, but he's going to fall out of that side B. Because of that platform, he did um, fall out. But um, definitely, one thing that I actually um, did notice is that on um, very good positioning, or not really positioning, um, just noticing that, you know, Rob isn't able to normally get his um, air train combo started. Um, so that's just a very good on um, trying to stay away from that as much as possible from Dark Falcon, knowing that that could actually be um, the cause of death for a lot of things. But getting that fair from that nice little situation that was going on right there, taking that second stock. Yeah, um, Dark Falcon really needs to put the heat on right here. Um, but still play safe, like keep that stock as long as they can. The thing is they need to lay the smack down here and get as much extra credit as they can. Oh, they were looking for the F tilt into um, returning cross combo. That's something that people like T3 Dom are really good at. Oh no! Ooh. The air dodge, avoiding the ledge, yeah. unfortunate. He just walked uh, up and uh, hit him. Go ahead. Hon oh, well, honestly showing that they were a little bit scared there. Um, so, uh -oh. wow, getting that combo again, that's... Um, I think that's the third time they've gotten that combo this set. Yeah, they're they're starting to see what works. I mean, I mean honestly, just very good coming in from Hereta. Um just trying their best to kind of make use oh, no. of what they are given, which is definitely a good indicator of their um, you know, execution. Yeah. Very nice. Getting that back air, taking that third game. Now Honestly, what do you feel? Because honestly, I'm feeling very happy for both of these players because they're definitely showing, you know, um, that they're definitely trying to make these adaptions pretty well, not really letting each other have too much fun with, um, you know, whatever stock or um, lead they're given. Yeah, I mean, the adaptations are definitely the thing that makes a set a set. Um... And, you know, seeing these players come up with new options uh, constantly is really fun to watch. And it's interesting um, just to see who pulls the rug out on the other person first and how do they do it. Um, but right now, you know, Heretta is, is definitely seeing um, what works. And they're putting on the pressure to get callouts on Dark Falcon. And look, combos are flashy and everything, but hard reads, they get, they get the money done. Because not only do they sometimes result in stocks, they also really put... A scary image of you into your opponent's head and whenever the mindset is the problem it is really hard to come back from that whenever you're in a set but anyway dark falcon going to lilat they really like this stage for belmont's they think it's belmont's best stage um so no surprise that they go here walking up trying to put some pressure on getting the up out of shield on that down tilt um wow yeah and <laughs> right now hard on the back foot just wow showing definitely their comfortability with this stage now um if anybody knows me definitely knows that i i don't like this stage but um i definitely what i do like is um seeing how dark falcon is actually showing you know all of their knowledge in just one game with this um stage you know i might have to convert um seeing how well they're playing on this stage yeah, well, this stage is their canvas right now, and they are painting a picture of destruction. Um, Heretta has not been able to get any meaningful offense out the entire match, uh, but right now we, we get a little nair to fair combo. Okay, landing into the laser. Side B gonna come out. All right, yeah, not gonna not gonna pressure that Dark Falcon. Wisely just chooses the safe option back on stage. We're back off again though. Yeah. Okay, Heretta's pulling the trigger on that side B a, a lot. Um, they're, they're really getting desperate to close this stock out. Um, oh man. And just Dark Falcon is covering all their bases right now. And Heretta just cannot find a way in. 
I mean, yeah, definitely good showing from Dark Falcon. Now, is that now not gonna kill? But I mean, almost a good attempt. Um, could have definitely had that, but um, just not enough yet. Um, but as as we're seeing, you know, Hereta's, you know, just having a very hard time in this matchup, probably because of you know, not too many people take anybody to this stage for certain. But um, definitely seeing if maybe. They're trying to see what they can actually do about this game. Yep. Oh, and the the angle Something I want to call out from Dark Falcon is sometimes they choose to full hop um, and angle down their aerials instead of opting for the uh, the low hops or excuse me the short hops and using just straights. Um, so that way they're able to get a little bit of extra damage and knockback on it. Um, instead of the short hop uh, damage modifier. And it's also really good for call-outs because most of the time Pareto's like, oh, he can't hit me from here, I'm safe. But no, the angle down uh, of the aerials is able to get that established. Pareto's doing a little bit to pull this back. Uh, Dark Falcon is almost at death percent, but they're still with a really commanding lead here. Oh, and the down tilt to side B, not gonna kill. Laser, not gonna hit. And the gyro is at center stage, so they weren't able to throw it out there. Dark Falcon... Going underneath, but not gonna get hard punished. Not gonna get the sweet spot of that down there. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Definitely hoping they can play around a little bit here more, just because you, as we see, um, they are trying their best to find this kill, but um, showing a little bit that they are scared only because, um, you know, they can die almost at any moment. Yeah. Um, but definitely um, hoping that they can actually um, kind of bring back their confidence in order to actually make better callouts on Dark Falcon so that they can show some light coming into this game. Oh, wow. Uh, did you see that duck walk backwards from Dark Falcon so they could uh, get the position properly to throw out Holy Water? Absolutely. That was honestly amazing. Yeah, it's so good. They know exactly the position they need to be in. And here's the thing about Hereta being in this corner right now. They're having such a difficult time landing just because Dark Falcon's covering all the bases. Like... Landing, they're trying to land on the platform. No, there's an axe coming. Oh, and also there's a whip there in the way. Like, this position is so good for Dark Falcon and so bad for Hereta, but Hereta's able to even out center. Oh, and the gyro stage spike! Oh, Hereta flexing their stage knowledge for once right now. And uh, it's not over yet, folks. I mean... Sounds good. I can do that. Oh! Wait, wait. Wait. And, and the angle down back air is going to be sealing the deal on that one. Dark Falcon taking game four, and we're going to a game five losers finals here. This is going to be Hereta's counter pick, though. But I just want I just want you to look at this, though. Like, Dark Falcon played so safe, just waiting for a call out. And yep, there it is. Punishing Absolutely. the gyro. Did they catch the gyro out of that, too? Look at that! Amazing. Great timing. Ma'am. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go back to PS2. Uh, for this last game, because Hereta likes that stage. And they did win there earlier in the set. Um, um, Town... Town was probably better for Dark Falcon, but Hereta won on it last time as well. I definitely um, do not think Hereta wants to go back to Lilat. Honestly, and Battlefield can't even be an option, only because I know that most people tend to not really take Belmont to that stage. Right. Okay, um, but here it is. Going to what they know, definitely um, trying to make it as comfortable as possible um, for Hereta, trying to um, make some waves, honestly. And they're doing a pretty good job so far. 79% almost unanswered um, from Hereta. And uh, Dark Falcon just able to get out of disadvantage and, and start laying some heat down themselves. But the gyro is going to get in the way of their ledge pressure a little bit. Um, but not to worry, they're doing a good job covering that platform and making sure Hereta does not have any solid ground to stand on. Honestly, definitely seeing a little bit of um, good advantage from both sides here because Ooh. both of these um, players definitely did show a really good showing of advantage. Um, but getting very even, close to even, um, definitely um, interesting to see how each of these characters choose to go about killing. Yeah. Dark Falcon's doing a really good job of just covering Hereta's landings too now. 
they realized that that was a really good option that got him a lot of ground uh, during the last game on Lilat. And um, now they're just doing a really good job of, of keeping that momentum alive. And they, they take the first stock with a, with a nifty little ledge trap there. Yeah, oh, you can't avoid that one. Yeah, and just this pressure. Again, Heretta seems to really want to go to the platform um, or like just in front of it, closer to the ledge. And Dark Falcon has that really well scouted. And uh, Heretta's just having a difficult time getting to the position they want to be in. I mean, definitely, yes. Um, oh, it, that is going to be a kill, but we can definitely... Um see that Heretta, as we said, is having a hard time, um, mostly because of them um, choosing to land and their options that they choose. Yeah. Um, honestly, definitely good on um, Dark Falcon's part for taking advantage of that fact itself, but um, definitely need to be very careful about how they choose to land, especially when, you know, all the times that you've landed, it's definitely ended in you almost taking, you know, 50, 100%. Oh. <laughs> Great punish there from Dark Falcon too. They going going for a double axe um, is a mix up because they were just kind of rotating around their B buttons, but they threw two axes and forced an air dodge on Heretta, being able to throw him off stage and get a little bit more pressure on. Excellent job there. And I, I can tell Heretta's kind of getting antsy and trying to fish for these combos, um, which they are kind of getting. Yeah, the F till is gonna kill. Good call out from Dark Falcon landing uh, with that holy fire, holy water. Excuse me. Um, no, good stuff there. And now, now this is where Heretta starts sweating a little bit. Dark Falcon's at close to death percent, but um, Heretta is taking a couple, couple bits of abuse. Okay, um, definitely seeing how, um, you know, Heretta's trying to kind of gain this sort of control back. I mean, honestly, if they can, um, you know, even take even a semblance of control back from Dark Falcon, they can definitely um, show a bit of, um, you know, life back, but that is going to be the game. Oh my gosh, the platform. Okay, so little known fact about Holy Water. If you throw it from a platform, it is going to keep going at that same trajectory and angle until it lands. And I'm pretty sure you can hold forward and have it go a little bit further and be out a little bit longer. Heretta was not ready for that. Excellent character knowledge. And... Just to flex on him, a pivot boost F smash from Dark Falcon. And uh, they are going to be punching their ticket into Grand Finals, where they will be getting the run back from Winterside. Okay, so Dark Falcon and Z Minus. So, um, from what I'm seeing, um, Z Minus has two characters, if I remember correctly. Um, Go and Luigi. Falco and Luigi, yeah, definitely. That's a little bit two weird characters, because um, I mean, that's a bird and a small tiny plumber. <laughs> right, right. But the thing about that, that bird is it is really good at dealing with project.